We will illustrate now practically the spinal reflexes. Spinal reflexes is formed of three main reflexes, the flexor withdrawal reflex, extensor thrust, and the crossed extension. The crossed extension itself comes with uh, three forms, uh, crossed extension one, crossed extension two, and crossed extension three. We we'll now will illustrate the uh, flexor withdrawal reflex. This reflex is one of the spinal reflexes, as we said, Spinal reflexes is concentrated mainly in the lower extremities. And uh, to test this reflex, we'll put the infant in a supine position with uh, head as mid-line and his legs as extended. Then apply noxious stimulation at the sole of the foot with a hard object. Uh, this is the stimulus, applying noxious stimulation at the sole of the foot. The response will be a dorsiflexion of the ankle and associate with mass flexion of the hip and knees. This is, will be the response. This reflex is important, indicating the health status of the central nervous system. It is one of the primitive reflexes that the infant comes with and it ended uh, or it disappeared at the age of about two months. So, if this reflex is uh, released or still not controlled after two months. If uh, we have an infant or a children uh, two years and have still have this uh, reflex, we can consider him as have abnormality or pathology in the central nervous system. The withdrawal reflex, the normal response that happens in the first two months of year is uncontrolled, uncontrolled flexion of the hip and knee. Uh, after that, this reflex will be controlled. Uh, you may, when you walk on something, you step on uh, something that may hurt you. Your response is uh, reflexive uh, withdrawing of your lower limbs. But you can control this reflex just if I ask you to step on this harmful stimulus, you will do so. Okay? You can do so. You can control this reflex before two months. This reflex is not yet controlled. Whenever you apply the stimulus, you will find the response of this mass uh, flexion. We can use the uh, flexor withdrawal reflex in assessment of muscle power, especially in children below uh, three years or four years, or children that can obey uh, the essential orders of the normal muscle testing technique. So, we can use reflexes in assessment of muscle power. As we said, in flexor withdrawal reflex, if you apply noxious stimulation, if you apply noxious stimulation at the sole of the foot, uh, the infant below two years or uh, that have any abnormality of the central nervous system will respond in the form of flexion, mass flexion of the hip and knee and dorsiflexion. So, you can assess the dorsiflexors the knee flexors and hip flexors. Also, one of the importance of this reflex uh, is um, it is a protective response, a protective response for this uh, infant. As we know, uh, the infant at uh, first uh, four months, most of his movements are reflexive. Okay, uh, so if something may hurt the infant when he's sleeping, he can move his uh, leg away from the source of harm.